What is up guys? Welcome to my brand new channel. My name is Cholo by the way for people who don't know. And if you have watched some of my old vlogs on YouTube, you are I bet wondering right now what happened to the old channel. Well, to be honest, I totally forgot my username and password. And if I can remember correctly, like a few months or a year ago, I decided to deactivate it for quite some time. I do not know now how to retrieve it and I have no patience um, on learning how to. So I just decided to create a new one and call it a fresh start. This first series is called How to Life. All right, so How to Life is an adulting series. It is where we talk about our adulting journey, where we help each other out um, with decisions that we can't make or we have a hard time making or to answer questions that we can't really answer on our own because the adulting journey shouldn't be walked alone. It is a journey that we have to help each other out. So this is more of like a community survival guide on how to adult. If you are on your way to graduating or if you're now adulting and can't seem to find your way through it, well, this is the series for you. For the first episode of How to Life, we are going to be talking about saving. So why are we going to talk about saving first? I believe that saving is such an integral part of adulting. We work so hard to earn the money that we have now. Literally, some of you guys put blood, sweat, and tears to get the money that you have right now. But are you spending and saving your money wisely? I believe us millennials, you know, we have to be secure. We have to be responsible with the money that we're earning. So for this episode, I want to share to you guys my style of saving. Disclaimer, whatever I say here might work for some, might not work for some. If ever it doesn't work for you, then okay, move on to another vlog that might actually help you. But if it does, well, congratulations to you. Saving, saving, saving. Pretty hard. It is pretty hard, especially if you are a fresh grad who just got his first salary and uh, wants to treat his family out, wants to buy the stuff he couldn't buy before when he was a student because he didn't have the money to. I know how it feels. During my first salary, I spent it all on clothes and shoes and useless stuff. I did enjoy for quite some time, but eventually, I ako and I just thought na sana ginastos ko na lang or sinave ko na lang on better useful stuff. So I want to share to you guys my style of saving. So my style of saving, I consider it like cutting a pizza. So I know you've heard of this. This is the very typical way of saving. But how it's different for a lot of people is how they divide their money. Now how I divide my pizza is by dividing it 60-40. Now, what is 60 and what is 40? 60 is the savings that I have now. The 40 naman is my daily expenditure. So let's go into that first. Disclaimer number two. The 60-40 doesn't include other money that I earn from outside my job. Currently, I am a regular employee of O Shopping as a regular host. So the money that I earn there is what I 60-40. But... The money I earn from all of my hosting gigs, singing gigs, and other stuff that people make me do for money will go to a different stream. But that is for, well, later in the vlog also. So let's go to the 40%. The 40% is for daily expenditures. So what are these? These are for food, transportation, in my case, gas, parking, and stuff like that. So basically, things that you need to survive your day-to-day -day life. So why 40%? I computed all of these, okay? So how much do I need for food a day? How much do I need for my dates with my girlfriend? How much do I need to pay for my bills, uh, my phone bill, my gym bill, etc, etc, etc. To be honest, what I actually need is just 30%. But because I also use the 40% cut to buy the stuff that I want, let's say a pair of shoes, a new bag, new clothes, I added another 10% of my salary there for, well, saving it to, let's say, buying uh, that bag that I want or that pair of shoes that I want 
or also to kind of have that fun for all of those other stuff that I've been wanting to buy as well. Compute the stuff that you need, that you immediately need to pay for. So again, phone bills, gym bill, um, whatever bill that you have for food and stuff like that. Be generous but not too generous. It has to be enough or a little bit above enough para hindi ka ma stress uh, before the next payday comes, okay? So now, let's go to the 60%. I divided it into two. So why two? So the 60 is divided into 30-30. So the first 30 is for emergency funds. What are emergency funds? COVID is an emergency. We didn't expect it to happen, but it's here, and now we need money to survive. Diba? For no work, no pay, you are relying on your savings right now, and if you don't have an emergency fund, you better think twice. Once this is lifted and you earn more money. Now, the other 30 is for forget me savings. Now, I call it forget me savings. You can call it time deposit. You can call it whatever you want. For me, it's forget me savings because once I put it in a fund, or once I put it in the savings fund, I forget about it. Now, the trick with the forget me fund is to look for a fund or a savings option that earns high interest. So the government has that. I do something called the MP2 of Pag-ibig that you can also do. I think it has like 5 to 7% per annum na interest, which is great because you can't find that in other banks. Or you can check your local banks. Maybe they have products with the same stuff as well. Forget me savings or savings that you just put there every single month or semi-annual, annually, that you just forget for let's say three to 10 years. You can also um, make it a fund for let's say your insurance because insurance are forget me funds as well, okay? So bakit malaki yung savings ko compared to my daily um, expenditure? Simple, it's because my savings is more important than my daily expenditure. What you need for your daily expenditure is just exactly what you need to survive. And you can actually compute that as days go by. But your savings, you don't know what you actually will need in the future. In the future, you will be paying for a car. You will be paying for a house. I know a lot of you guys want to open businesses as well. And it's a great start if you are saving as early as your first paycheck because in the future, you don't want to question where are you going to get the money for your plans. So that's technically how I save my money. So again, it's 40, 60, 40 for daily expenditures bills and all of that while the 60 is for savings you can tweak it as much as you want you can tweak it the way you feel like you know it's more um, apt for you because some people want to save more than 60% some people need more to survive day to day most of you guys may also be um, living alone paying for your own utilities so that is something to consider so it's a matter of just um, weighing the scale seeing what you need more currently but let's say for this month you are you already figured out a way to lessen your costs and put it more on savings then adjust it the way you want it to go so like what I said earlier, I also earn from other rackets or other stuff that I do like hosting or singing, performing, whatever. So the money that I put there, I put it on investment. What is investment? Well, basically, for now, my investment is just my car. Why do I call it an investment? Because it's so expensive, I have to pay for it for a month. And it's something that I really, really need and I... Uh, really really want as well so it's more of like a want need kind of thing and i feel like it's an investment because it's a hella expensive so when investing you really have to set aside money for that investment alone okay you really have to think about it properly and thoroughly if you can start investing on something or not for me when i bought the car i thought about it a bunch of times and i really really saved all of the money i earned from hosting and from performing so when i had six to ten months na banko na pera for the monthly amortization and yes i did my research magkano babayaran ko a month mag how long will i pay for it when i had the money for the down payment and six to ten months ha of monthly amortization, that's when I decided to get the car already. 
So when you are gonna start investing, make sure that you have enough money for the DP and enough money for let's say six to 10 months na amortization so that when the time comes that you need to pay for stuff and you don't have let's say extra income like rackets and all of that, a writing job, an editing job, well, you still have money to pay for the car. And that is why I was so confident in getting Cali, which is my car, which is an Almera, a Nissan Almera. Cali, Nissan, Cali Nissan. Yeah, I tried to be witty with that one. But again, if you want to start investing on, let's say, a car or a condo, make sure that you have enough money to survive a few months of paying amortization. Because again, for freelancers like me and for people who are also relying on their rackets to pay for their big investments, it's so, so hard to be buying something and then not having the money to pay for it kasi marere matayan and that is the worst feeling ever. Okay? So think about it wisely. So again, if you have extra income, uh, you can put it in a fund or you can put it in a bank account or you can just add and add and add until you've decided what you want to invest on and that's the time you actually touch it and use it for stuff. And there you go! That is my style of saving. I hope you guys learned. If you have any thoughts about it, comment down below. Maybe I can learn some from you guys as well. Or if you're doing the same thing, share your experience down below. If you have a better way of saving, you can comment down below. Or if you have a vlog that talks about this as well, comment it down below. I would love for us to be a community and just help each other out. Because again, the adulting journey shouldn't be walked alone. It should be walked together together forever i hope i didn't bore you guys i hope that you are appreciating this series i will be posting more adulting topics as we go along a like would be appreciated a subscribe would be appreciated your comments would be appreciated a share would be so much appreciated because we need to get this out there we need to help our kapwa adulters not adulterers that's bad adults Kapwa adults na lang. Kapwa adults. They also be responsible with their money and how they go through this adulting journey. So again, this has been How to Life, an adulting guide to almost anything. My name is Sholo and I'll see you guys again on the next episode. Bye!